What is up, peace? FCW TV HD here. That's welcome you back to another video. And today we are playing a very unique deck list that I have created. It is Vika Vault and Lugia Break. This was a deck I just wanted to play around with, committed myself to a little bit. Oh, Lele on the turn one is annoying. And uh, just really try and have some fun with it. I've had a decent amount of success. If you do get your stuff set up, you're going to be hitting 180 with a choice band every single turn. Um, you unfortunately don't get those 210 knockouts, which is painful. But you're going to get the knockout on your basics, uh, your basic GXs, other than those extraneous, ex extraneous ones that go for, you know, 190 health. Um like your Terminators or your, your Buzzwalls, stuff like that, which is quite very irritating. But again, this deck is just for fun. This deck is not meant to be the best deck in the world. It's just, as I said, just have a bit of fun. So it uses Lugia. Uh, I believe it's the one from, is it Steam Siege or is it Fates Collide? I'm not too sure. It's the Lugia that reduces damage from EX and I think adds damage. No, it reduces damage by 20 when it's hit and adds damage when it's hitting an EX. Um... So let's, obviously we're going to go for the turn one Bridget here. We do need to get that out. So we're going to go for, I think, that. Yeah, that's the play. So yeah, it's Fates Collide. There we go. So we use that one. I'm obviously going to attach the double color to Lugia right away. And I think that's that's turn. That's, we're going to pass on that. Um, yeah, so we use that with Lugia Break, which is also from Fates Collide. Uh, obviously, we're not going to be using Tensifying Burn unless necessary. We are playing a get. Oh, that's annoying. We are playing against a Dusk Main Necrozma. Now, we do indeed have a turn two Vika Vault here. We're going to go for the Ultra Ball. I'm just going to get rid of both Rescue Stretches here. Don't need them right now. Um, and then I'm going to Skylar for Rare Candy. Yeah. Let's make that play. I think I have to hit the intensifying burn, which is fine. There we go. So I, I, I you probably know I've, I've made a video on Vika Vault before, but I always play Skyler and Vika Vault decks because it just helps so much with getting Vika Vault out and into play. Now I know putting my Lugia up front is kind of dangerous, especially if you're facing a Dusk main Necrozma. But, 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 but. He's not using a... He's going for a Metagross deck. So he's not actually using uh, Magnezone. So he needs to get energy in the discard pile in order to accelerate. Which means he's going to have some trouble. My trouble here is I have no cards in my hand. <laughs> no Lele. Hopefully I could draw into one. But what are the odds? I've got two Lele in deck. He's going for a Sycamore. So this person's got, got some plays to make here. He's got some plays. What's he discarding? Let's see. Energy and stretcher. Okay, so yeah. My guess is he's got a turn. He's got to ha he's got to have a a metagross. He's got to have a metagross to, to put into play here. Which again is okay. Oh my tank! Wow. So he's not got a metagross yet. Which means if we get lucky, I can knock out this dusk main. Oh look at that! Evo sort of coming in clutch. We're gonna get that Lugia break out. Oh, that is my boy right there. There we go. Let's go for the acceleration. I'm actually going to accelerate one to Lugia break and the other to Lugia on bench. And now we're going to start hitting for 150 or 180. Absolutely wonderful. There we go. It just discards two energy. That's fine. The fact that this is used, just uses colorless energy, which is, it, it makes it work very well with Vika Volt. Um, Cynthia, oh, this is absolutely wonderful. This is working out very well. So this deck is insane. This deck, you can go ahead, you can knock out your Lele's, you can knock out your basics, uh, GX's. Um, and if you do, as I said, you, I luckily got the turn to Vika Vault. You can really, really uh, cause a bit of ruckus. Now this deck, as I said, is nothing crazy. I mean, it's not going to do well in, you know, in the, in the, in the, in the, the, the regionals and stuff like that in the tournaments. Um, because, of course, Zorark and stuff like that are really just going to outplay the way this deck works. Um... Of course, it has a resistance to fighting, which is fantastic. A weakness to lightning, which again is a very good weakness. The only good lightning deck out there is the supercharged deck with Raichu. Uh, oh, he's going to accelerate. Now, the hard thing about facing Metagross is it's 250 HP. It, I'm, I'm going to have to two, two hit knockout, unfortunately, on that one. If I find a Guzma, 
Or actually, I could draw into a Lele Guzma and actually, or see, this is this is this is questionable. I don't want to be discarding a Cynthia for a Lele. Parallel City. I forgot I played that. Okay, let's drop Parallel down. Let's limit his own bench, and I'm gonna play Cynthia. That's wonderful. There we go. We got energy recycle, but I don't need to recycle anything yet. I'm gonna attach another to bench. Get another grubbing out. Maybe that was bad. I shouldn't have done that. I'm gonna get Oranguru down. I think it was bad me playing the grub in there because I'm just giving him an option to knock out one of my Pokemon. That's low HP. But I was just scared of my Vikavolt getting shut down or, or, or knocked out through Guzma by any means. So that's why I did that. Okay, we got N, so we have a way of drawing out and uh, also limiting this guy's hand. He's got quite a big hand. He's going to be hitting back. <clears throat> the annoying thing is he actually knocks me out if he gets the right energy in play. So... That's irritating. But hopefully next turn, because I've been charging up my Lugia on bench, hopefully I can draw into another Lugia break. Uh, <coughs> something's in my throat. Oh, Max Potion. That's painful. Oh, that's annoying. And he's going to go ahead and knock me out as well after that because of the acceler acceler acceleration. Sorry. So oh, that's annoying. My next hope is... I'm going to promote the Lele. Uh, my next hope is that I draw a Guzma and I can just knock out the Lele. Yes, I will get knocked out in return. Oh, wait, why didn't you knock? Oh, wait! See, this is why this card is good. Pressure. I take less damage. He doesn't get the knockout on me, baby. He does not get the knockout. Right, I'm going to... Mm, do I use my recycle now? Yeah, I'm going to use recycle. Get energy back into deck. I'm going to go for Cynthia. His hand is already reduced, so maybe I should have accelerated energy first and gone for Cynthia because I don't want to draw into too much energy. Okay, we're fine. Uh, another energy on the Lugia here. I'm going to get myself a... Yeah, okay, I'm going to get myself a another Lugia break into play because this one's probably going to get knocked out next turn. I'm fine with that. Let's go ahead and accelerate to the Lugia break. And deal some more damage. The great thing as well, this does a lot of damage and it's a one prize Pokemon. If he knocks this out, he's taking one prize. So for a one prize Pokemon to be doing that much damage every turn is insane. Now, I know, of course, Bulu is obviously the better alternative, being able to hit your two tens. But it's a GX. So it's a two prize Pokemon. And it only has 30 HP more. Lugia effectively has 170 because on its attacks, it takes 20 less damage. So Lugia is a, a effectively, if ability isn't shut off, a 100. And I, need, I really need a Guzma. But that's fine. I've got Lele. I can Lele for Guzma. Uh, yeah, I, I've effectively got 170 HP non-GX attacker that can hit 180 compared to a 180 HP GX attacker that can hit 210. Um, so they're really almost equivalent. Obviously, boot is a basic, so you're more likely to get it out and get it charged up quicker. Um, but Lugia's original attack, again, is pretty decent with choice hitting 90 damage. is alright for free energy. So again, you can't complain. We are... I'm an idiot. Oh, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. I was like, I'm going to promote the Lele and get a Guzma. It's fine. I can retreat the Lele. So we're going to get a Guzma here. We're going to knock out Tarpy Lele. Uh, the thing is, unfortunately, I'm going to get knocked out in return. No, I won't get knocked out in return. I keep forgetting. Huh. This is fun. Right, let's drop the Guzma, get Lele out. Oh, he's he's quit. <laughs> I think he's realized what I did there. So that's that's that that's the Lugia uh break Vikavot deck. I will show the deck list here. This is quite a unique deck, a deck I'm actually quite proud of. So here is the deck list. I'll actually talk you through it as I'm uh, as I'm going about. Of course, you don't have to stay for this. I just like talking about this stuff. So we have free Lugia from Fates Collide in deck here um again it's pressure ability is fantastic intensifying burn is great against ex if you come up against a buzz wall this deck just shuts it down resistance to fighting as well as hitting their zygarde for 120 for free energy absolutely wonderful this card steals the show for energy flash of destruction all you need to do is attach a double colorless and get a vika vault in play you're hitting 180 with choice band um again for me that game the stars did align and i managed to get a breakout pretty much on the third turn and hit hard so that's fine Oranguru just to help with that draw towards the end game 
uh, and obviously Lele. We know why Lele is in deck. We have two energy recycler to make sure we don't run out of energy. I have, uh, not me, sorry, I was actually watching Ty play a game. He came up against someone using Vika Vault and they didn't play energy recycler, which is one of the worst thing you can do if you ever play a deck that discards energy when it attacks, if you don't have a way of bringing energy back. So usually you'd want like a Rayquaza or something or anything down that line that could put energy back into play. But if you don't have, if you have Vika Vault and there's nothing you can use to put energy back in, you're screwed. Um, if For this deck, this deck relies on energy recycler. So that's why that's in deck. Two Evo Sodas. Evo Soda came and clutched that game, uh, allowing us to evolve into our Lugia Breaks if we don't manage to draw into one. So again, it ups the consistency of getting Lugia Break out. We have two Rare Candies for the Vika Volts and we do have two Rescue Stretchers. I'm considering dropping a Rescue Stretcher and adding another Rare Candy, again, for more consistency, considering we have three Vika Vaults. Uh, four Ultra Ball, everyone knows why that's in the deck. It's very important. We do have Parallel City. Um, I only have the one, unfortunately, but with Parallel City's ability to completely block off your opponent from setting up all their Pokemon, say, for example, that uh, Metagross, I believe, I don't know what happened to my Parallel City. I didn't pay attention, I should, but Metagross limiting that would be great. Uh, limiting other decks uh, such as Decidueye. Parallel City is really great against us. So that's why that's there. A Bridget, of course, with any deck that has a stage two, usually I would play the Bridget just to ensure I do get the grubbing out right away. Uh, we have four Cynthia for draw. We are playing zero Sycamores because we do not want to be discarding our resources with this deck. If we have a few energy, let's say if we have a lot of energy in, in hand, we're using Vika Vault. We need energy in deck. So I don't want to be discarding energy. I don't want to be discarding energy recycler. This, this card is a necessity later on in the game. So... I don't want to be discarding that stuff. So I've got four Cynthia and I've got zero Sycamore, two ends for the late game, two Skylers to ensure we are, we are able to grab our item cards for evolution if we so need. Choice Band, we only have the two and Floatstone, we have the two. Uh, maybe it might be a good idea to drop down Rescue Stretcher, add another Choice Band. Two Choice Band is quite slim. Um, but I've, I've been working on this deck a little while. This is the current list so far. Um, of course, we have the 12 basic energy. With Vika Vault, we're going to be wanting to accelerate energy every turn. So we do need a decent amount of energy in deck. So let me know. What are your thoughts for this deck? Would you actually play it yourself? Do you like this archetype? Um, as I said, I'll try and make the deck list online. Um, if not, of course, you have the deck list right in front of you here on the screen. And you can try and build it yourself. Other than that, I will leave you guys to it. Thank you very much for your time. Don't forget to subscribe. And peace.